Our ancient connections may not be obvious to this group. Our ancestors adapted to different climates, and as a result, humans are now among the most physically varied looking species on the planet. But looks can be deceiving. We're basically identical at the genetic level. I mean, if you, you look at the average person's DNA sequence and compare the same region to another person they're unrelated to, you know, they're 99.9% .9 identical. All that, there. Look right here, this is great. Light, dark, big, small, curly, straight, brown, blue. Minuscule genetic changes account for all of our differences. To track our ancient paths, though, scientists study DNA that stays very much the same. In men like George Dellis, it's a Y chromosome. All that, let's do one more. It's been passed down the line from father to son over thousands of generations, and ultimately traces back to one man who lived in Africa around 60,000 years ago. Call him Scientific Adam. He wasn't the only guy alive back then, but only his Y chromosome survived through the ages, and every man alive today has a copy. For women like Nejla Demerji, the DNA comes from special cell structures called mitochondria, which both men and women carry, but only moms pass along. These trace back to one woman who also lived in Africa between 150 to 200,000 years ago. Call her Scientific Eve. She is the oldest root of our family tree. Africa is where the journey begins for everyone alive today.